Um, the feature this week is the Arctic Convoy, directed by Heinrich Henrik Martin Dalsbakken. Uh, this is a Nor movie from Norway, I do believe. I may be wrong about that. I wasn't sure Swedish or whatever it was. It's a World War II movie. Now, World War II movies are kind of like westerns. Like sometimes they're fantastic, and a lot of times they are really mediocre in this day and age. So you have to kind of pick and choose to get a good World War II movie. Oh, we've had a few, uh, just like Westerns. You know, we had an old boy and not old boy. What was it called? <laughs> old boy is a different movie altogether. Uh, old Henry. That was it. That was a pretty good Western we had in the last couple of years. Um, and with uh, World War II movies, once again, you know, you got your glorious bastards and other things that come along. So this movie, a little different, which is unusual. The fact that you can get an unusual or different World War II movie in 2024, that's a pretty good thing right off the gate, right out of the gate. Um, what is the basic concept of this movie? So you have, you know, uh, allied troops in the Russians that are stuck way over in the cold winter and they're having a hard time getting any supplies. So the other allies over towards Iceland are getting convoys of ships and you know taking the all of those goods which are mostly probably you know weaponry and whatever uh bullets and <laughs> different kinds of artillery and whatever and they're bringing them over and you know convoys of 40 ships from iceland all the way over to murmansk and they have uh british you know warplanes kind of protecting them as they take their giant convoy over there and the convoy is not with with military uh, personnel. It's actually civilian personnel, which is the other kind of big difference here. Now, right out the gate, I remember um, Eric had mentioned when he was watching this uh, in our little off side chat that we have, he had said something like this really reminded him of that tank movie Fury, where it was a, a single tank, you know, trying to make it behind enemy lines and trying to survive against all odds. And uh, I also thought of um, Das Boot, similar in a U-boat. But with this version, of course, you have a, oh, I'll tell you why it becomes a single boat. You have a single boat of civilians, not, you know, they're not military people. So they are having to survive against military people uh, against big odds with their little boat. And the reason it's their little boat is because very quickly, like right out the gate, the forces whoever's running the forces says disperse convoy disperse apparently there's some kind of a threat and if they're all grouped together they're afraid that the the convoy will get kind of destroyed en masse by various u-boats and other maybe um, warships coming their way so that if they all disperse some of them have a chance of getting through that's the basic idea and immediately our little boat that we're following there's debate among the crew and among the you know the captain and the crew because it seems to be at that point a suicide mission. Like why, if they're just out there all by themselves, they're sitting ducks. Uh, there's a first mate that's kind of new on the ship and he, he might have uh, different opinions than the captain and there's other members of the crew that kind of might have different ideas as well. So that gives you some conflict right out the gate. Um, now, on the negative side, if you're a person that wants a real high action packed World War II style of movie, more like a Sisu kind of a movie. This is not that. This is more classic tension, you know, one situation and maybe some group discussion and, and, and some pauses and then another situation that's a stressing or a, a threat for them, that kind of a thing. So, but if you like that more classic style, World War II adventurous sort of a movie where you've got, you know, just everyday people or everyday sailors kind of in what might seem to be an um, unwinnable situation uh, and a very stressful situation, uh, this may really hit the mark for you. I would say there's, you know, there's a little CGI in here to get some of the larger shots that wouldn't be, you know, doable with practical effects. And I think they do it pretty well here with the CGI. It doesn't distract me didn't distract me much. I think it was used to great effect where you have like, you know, long shots of a whole bunch of ships or of ships going through, I don't know, 
ice fields and you see a you know air you know warplane coming up overhead all of it i think was done to pretty pretty good effect and also i really enjoyed how in this movie you have them facing some kind of a situation i'm not going to say what situations are because discovering that in the movie is kind of a good part of the fun if you're enjoying this movie but when they come up to a um a dangerous situation you get to really see them trying to problem solve that but problem solve it from their point of view which is not being a warship and having very limited ability to combat anybody like how are they going to survive you know situation a and then situation b and once again i think each time one of those comes up that is if you're enjoying the movie and the way it's progressing that is the kind of thing that's going to really pull you through because you'll put yourself in that you know kind of that uh those shoes like what am i supposed to do in this situation like here is this military threat to me and how do i survive it so all that being said i think it's pretty darn effective i i enjoyed it quite a bit i don't know what the guys think of it i'm by the little comment that Eric made, I'm, I'm thinking he at least liked it, if not loved it. I liked it a fair amount. I say I probably go four stars in this. I was thinking three and a half or four. I'm not sure, but I think this is pretty darn good. So I'm going to go four stars. I'm guessing Greg probably likes it quite a bit too. I'm just thinking this would probably be across the board, at least, at least four stars. That's my guess, but we will see if you've already heard it. You probably already know. Um, that is the one feature I have for this week. 